It took a few days, but we're finally back on schedule here at the 115th Massachusetts Amateur Championship. I'm Stephen Hanjack for Mass Golf, and first thing this morning, Joey Lenane had to show up and play in a playoff to get into match play. He then played a 20-hole match against James Amai, and then had to play Matt Parziali in the afternoon. He advanced through it all, but couldn't get enough golf, so he went back out to watch the rest of the matches. Eventually, we were able to catch up with him. I know. Definitely a little tired, yeah. 41 holes, it uh, knocked me out, but. Yeah, so, didn't have much momentum yesterday in the stroke play round, and then I closed it with a bogey on nine, so didn't really feel like momentum was going my way, and then three putt the first playoff hole after having the shortest shot in, so I was kind of like, what's going on right now? It's, nothing seems to be going my way, but hit a really good shot on 11 in the playoff and then two putt got out of there which was nice and then I kind of found my groove during match play which was good when I needed it so yeah I don't think it ever got to more than one up or one down up until 16 so it was good yeah a lot of shot for shot kind of seemed like we were just like following each other around out there and it was a lot of fun yeah 17 the short one I think you can make it play really interesting, moving the tee boxes around, but the way it's play the way we've been playing it, yeah, it's good. We uh, we've had a lot of good pin locations there, especially the one today. It's a pretty risky pin to go for. And then 18 is obviously a really cool hole, just teeing it way down the hill, and it's a pretty scorable hole if you're in the fairway. But that tee shot can be pretty intimidating too. So I think it's a I think they're both great finishing holes. His opponent will be Ryan Downs, who had a roller coaster of emotions on his final match against Ethan Whitney. Eventually, he was able to make a birdie on the first playoff hole to advance. Well, I feel great, tired, 37 holes today, so I mean, like, it's very exhausting, but me and my caddy just kind of settled on a read, and we finally trusted him kind of coming down the stretch, and I rolled it end over end, which I hadn't really done too much this week, and it just happened to catch the left center of the hole and win it. Yeah, so my chip on on 16, it was probably one of the best threes I've ever made. I drove it way right in the rough, and it was a bad lie, and I, I think I was fortunate to get it over the green, and I was in a really great lie, so I could kind of spin it, and it took two bounces and just rolled right, right into the stick. It was probably gonna be like five feet five, but that was a huge bonus. I let out a big fist bump. I was really happy with it. And then, you know, Ethan on 18, she made a heck of a birdie. Like, that's a great, great tee shot, good wedge shot, and I mean, dead center on the putt. And then. I've been struggling with my driver a little bit this afternoon on the back nine, so blasted one a little right in the playoff, but was fortunate to draw a really solid lie and hit a pitching wedge from 160 to like 12 feet, so it was good. I feel like I'm a safer player, but I feel like I can tend to play a little more aggressive in match play. If I can get putts going, I feel like I'm kind of hard to beat because I feel like my ball striker gets me in a lot of places. Like I think in our match, I hit like a 17 out of 19 or something like that. So it's just got to get the putter heated up. It's about my, it's about my trick. Jake Schumann breezed through his matches today, easily advancing to the quarterfinals. He talked a bit about his excitement of competing on the big stage once again. Uh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm not used to playing as much golf anymore. Um, but I'm excited. I love this golf course. Um, I don't get to compete that much anymore. Probably play, I think I have four, maybe five events for the year now. Um, so this one's always circled, but uh, I'm excited to play another day. Uh, it's a great opportunity. I mean, John's an amazing player and I'm sure, so we played last year and that was my first time playing with him and meeting him actually. So uh, it's great to meet him last year and has a lot of game and I'm sure that game has matured quite a bit, obviously seeing a 62. Um, that's not something that uh, it's pretty easy to do. So uh, it'll be fun. Just over the last nine years between going through high school golf, college golf, trying to play professionally for a few years, and now being back here and kind of coming full circle, like the, the expectations now are probably different and my goal is now to just enjoy myself. I'm not worried about trying to impress and try to get recruited. Um, you know, I'm very fortunate that I work with people who are uh, supportive of this. So having that as, you know, a backdrop um, just makes this more fun and, and the golf's obviously so important to me, but uh, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, have fun. And if I don't play well, I don't play well. That does it for day three here from the Massachusetts Amateur Championship. We'll be back at it first thing in the morning with quarterfinal matches, and we'll see you tomorrow.